We are trying to obtain every rare drop from the Corrupted Gauntlet without dying a single time. And if I die, my account gets deleted. We have a stockpile of over 8,000 items that we're going to turn into magic XP and coins, all while training a completely different skill at the same time. This will get us closer to unlocking the gauntlet, but also it'll help us obtain our first major best in slot item. More on that in a little bit. The RuneScape grind that's as old as time. Out agility. <laughs> We've been running rooftop laps here at Canifus for like five hours. I'm starting to slowly lose my mind. We're up to 87 marks of grace, though. We're also starting to make a dent in this gold bracelet stack. Plan is to keep doing rooftop agility until we hit 260 marks of grace, which will allow us to make a major purchase on the account. We should get pretty close to finishing all of our Alks by then as well. It's looking like we're going to get a lot of magic XP, boys. This is the final lap of the Cannabis Rooftop Agility Course 60 Agility, which means we can now go to Sears Village, immediately teleport to Camelot. And now we climb the wall on the Camelot Bank, and we are underway at the Sears Agility Rooftop. We only need 75 more marks of grace 100 200 300 laps at sears rooftop only 12 marks of grace until we have enough to purchase the entire set boys this is special mark of grace number 260 this is the last lap of the sears rooftop for a long time boys we hit 65 agility only five levels until the song of the elves requirement we are going straight to the birthorpe games room minigame teleport to spend these marks of grace 260 acquired there she is there's grace trade grace and we can buy graceful hood cape body legs gloves and boots for all of our marks of grace and we got the full set. Let's go, boys. Look at that. Here's the loot from that whole grind. And we're almost done with all the Alks. And with this Alk, we hit 70 magic from our Alks as well. So we have made a ton of gains from getting that graceful set. All right, gentlemen, let's talk game plan. Now that we have the run restoration buff that comes with the graceful set, we're ready to do some questing. Like I mentioned earlier, the goal of this episode is to get our first best in slot item. That item just so happens to be unlocked from the recipe for disaster quest. But there is a 175 quest point requirement for RFD, and we're not there yet, so we're going to go do a little quest grind. Mr. Velioff and in aid of the Myrkey is done, which means that we actually get a pretty big unlock on the account, not because of the quest, but because we got 2,000 attack XP from the quest, which puts us at 60 attack, which means we can wield dragon weapon we Weapon we oh my goodness. <laughs> Ah, weaponry, aka the dragon skim. Here we go, boys. Now that we have 60 attack, we can trade Daga for a dragon skimmy. And let's see, we're going to play equip roulette. One click Teliad here. Oh, wait, is that going to do damage to me? Oh, my goodness. That was probably not smart. But we got the D skim on the account, which is a massive upgrade. We're going to be using this for a very long time. Hey, one small favor is done. I think I can give this black prism from Zogar Flesh Eaters to this guy. Okay, so he will buy for 5k coins. And now we can use these XP lamps. Can we put them on Herb Lore? 10k Herb Lore for one lamp and another 10k Herb Lore for the other lamp, which brings us to 42 Herb Lore. Hey, big arm. My arm's big adventure is completed. We're up to 200 quest points. That is a big one because it means we only have one quest left before we can do Recipe for Disaster, and that is Desert Treasure 1. We have all the requirements for this. We can do this. It's probably going to be the most dangerous quest we've done so far, but it's the last thing we need to do before we can get Barrow's Gloves. And now we have this herb patch unlocked for the future so we can be more efficient with our herb runs. So that will help us get towards the Gauntlet Cooker. Here we go, boys. It begins. Desert Treasure 1 is underway. All right, here's the end of the quest. We are assembling the pyramid with all of the diamonds. Then we're gonna run through the maze and then we're done. Just gotta survive the maze, boys. Is that it? Did we make it? I think we made it, boys. Zero fails on the maze. This NPC is probably the coolest in the game. There it is, boys. Desert Treasure 1 is completed. That's a very large quest, and with that quest, we unlock the Ancient Magic Spellbook, as you can see. 
from the screen here. We are going to have to get some magic levels to be able to use some of these better spells. But more importantly, now we can go and grab Barrel's Gloves. I also did opt to buy the Ancient Staff from uh, this dude right here. So hopefully it's worth it. It will be our best magic staff for a while. Not sure if we're going to get the Master One on this account, but this will do for the time being. Well, I, I don't know if we'll ever use this or not, but... Maybe it was a waste of 80k, who knows, whatever. We got it, it looks cool. We got it on the account, unlocked. Okay, so I kind of forgot that you need 70 cooking to do a recipe for disaster as well. And we're at 62, so I have two choices. We could fish Karamblons and cook those for cooking XP. I don't have any Karamblons in my bank, but I do have Karamblon Genie, so we could fish them relatively easily. Problem with that is it will take a very long time. We will use the fish, but it's going to take a long time to get to 70 cooking. We're going to need to fish like 2,000 Karamblons. Or option number two, we could buy grapes from the RFD chest here in the Lumbridge basement. There's seven stocked per world currently, and it will take about 2,000 grapes to get to the level as well. So I think that'll be quicker, and I think I'm just gonna send it with the grapes, honestly. All right, I didn't know if it was gonna be successful or not, but we did it, boys. We have all these unfermented wines, so we're gonna get one big XP drop in a second. Let's see what level we get to from 62. Any second now, boys. 304K, 68 cooking only. Oh no, we need more. Oh, we need to get to 70. Okay, we're pretty much 69. Well, I might just fish Karambons for the rest because we will need some food. So let's go do that. Okay, we ended up with 493 raw Karambons. We are here at the Hosidius Kitchen. This is where we're going to cook all of them. Oh, wait. What? What? You can put the easy credit Kebos Achievement Diary to cook here, bro. Why do you do me like that? I had 100% Hosidia's favor before the update, brother. I'm also not wearing the cooking gauntlets because we have the goldsmith gauntlets and I don't want to pay the 25k to switch them out and I don't want to pay the 500k to unlock them permanently. So uh, I have no idea how many we're going to burn. We're starting with 493. Let's pump these bad boys out. We need to get to level 70 cooking. Hopefully this is enough. Pump, pump, pump. Pump. Okay, we still need 8.4k XP. We're out of crown wands. It only took like five minutes to cook all those. We did burn 115, which is unfortunate. Let's see. Do we have any raw food in our bank that we can cook? Uh, tuna, sh lobster. Okay, th I think this should get us over the edge. Let's cook the lobsters first. Hey, there's the big one. 70 cooking with one tuna to spare. Let's go wrap up recipe for disaster, gentlemen. Ended up going three for three, and now a whoa, whoa, gee is free and that means all we got to do is finish off the rfd bosses and then we will unlock the uh, barrels gloves that we've been after for a while now there it is that's a lot of agility xp from that as well all right let's get into it boys the final stretch all we got to do is beat these bosses this is going to be our gear setup and our inventory for the first boss let's see how it goes we're going to need more food than that bail on this one too gotta leave oh we failed again dude we failed again all right well, we're getting closer it's so close every time. It's so close. Oh, we did it. Okay, let's go. All right, we got to leave. Okay, we're ready for the next boss. Let's go. It was like five attempts, but we got it. Okay, this is our inventory, and this is our gear setup for this next boss. We're basically just going to run around and freeze him with snare and then hit him with the water blast. We're going to make sure we have the ice gloves on. This one should be a little bit easier, I think, than the last one, but we will find out. All right, that should be it. I was one and done on that one. Not too bad. Okay, I had to get some extra supplies for this one. We had to pick up some red spider's eggs so we can make stat restore, <laughs> so we can make stat restoration potions because this next one's gonna drain our stats. The tricky part about this next one is just having the stat restores pots, I believe. So let's go in and uh, knock that one out. That's a problem. I'm out of Harlanders. Uh, boy. Well, it's probably a waste to do this, but I think I'm gonna use my super restores on uh, on this fight right here. You know what? I'm looking at it right now the wise old man can give harlanders as a drop from his tasks so i'm gonna try and do like two wise old man tasks let's see if we can get lucky with some harlanders <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures boys so let's see what we can uh what we can scrape together here we just need like three herbs three or four herbs and then we'll be good okay the first task oh we got coins all right what's the next task prayer xp okay third time's a charm dude just gave me prayer xp fourth time's the charm i got a good feeling about this one. Oh. We got one Harlander. <laughs> All right, let's see. Do we get one more task from him? What does he need? Silk. Do I have any silk in my bank? If I have silk in my bank, I'll do this last one. Oh, I have seven silk in my bank. Is it a sign? Is he going to give me more? Oh, he gave me one more. Okay. Now we're talking, bro. Now we're talking. Cowhide seven. Okay, I definitely don't have those in my bank. All right, we got two Grammy Harlanders. 
So we're going to bring in a mix of, we'll have six restore doses from the Harlanders, which is sufficient, or should be sufficient. And then we can just use super restores for the rest. So we're not going to just waste super restores if we don't have to. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, here we go. Here's the setup. We got six doses of regular restore, six doses of super restore, which should be plenty. Hopefully we don't have to dig into the super restores to be able to kill this boss. We'll just run up on him and start fire blasting him. Hey, okay, we got it. And we only needed two doses of a regular restore pot, so that was good. All right, we're all geared up for the next fight. We basically just run around and cast Ibans on it. So, let's do it. Okay, we got him. A little bit of a hybrid gear setup for this next one. It's the Dagonoth Mother fight. Primarily going to be using Mage. Let's do this, boys. We got this. I think this thing can hit a 20-20, so... Gotta stay above 40 HP. Okay, the last one's the Kalerna Romancer. Can I just fight him? Is there anything I should know for this final fight? I think it's relatively easy. I'm a little bit... If I start getting destroyed, I'm just gonna leave. But I think we should be able to do it in this one inventory. If he hits me one more time, I'm leaving. Hey, there it is. He's dead. He's gone. That is... It's so big, boys. That's huge. I'm so happy we got that done. It's over. It's all over. And we are still alive, which is the most important thing. We got a unique lamp. We finished recipe for disaster. How much XP is this? Herblor. 20k Herblor XP. Holy. All right. You know what time it is. Get the coins out of the bank. Buy items. Barrels gloves are in the shop. Buy one. Barrels gloves. And of course, we got to whack these bad boys on. Check this out, boys. Look at those bonuses. Plus 12 melee strength. Best in slot gloves that we're going to have on this account. Look at all those attack bonuses. We're gaming, boys. That is huge. I would say we're entering the mid game at this point. Here are the stats right now. Time played on the account, 247 hours. Pretty much 250 hours to get these. But we did a lot of other stuff on the way as well. We're up to almost 1,400 total level, 205 quest points. We did all these achievement diaries as well, which I did not show. I didn't even claim the Mortania Easy Rewards. So we got to do that. And then also, I don't know if any of you guys caught it or not, but we're almost up to 70 range. We did a little bit of Ammonite Crab AFK. Mage and range are looking pretty solid, and our melee stats are going to need a boost, which we're going to work on in the next episode now that we have these amazing barrels gloves but we're getting closer every day boys closer and closer to that song of the elves grind which will unlock the corrupted gauntlet for us we're getting there